Okay, good mapping, especially for local and looking at things over time. There's a website called Nearmap, nearmap.com. When you go there, you might find, let's look at the school. Walking Parade, Sorrento. Okay, it's brought me in there. I can scroll through map, click and drag. Here's the college here. I'll just close this window here. Got more real estate on the window. And I can see this map is showing me 31st of December 2009. Zoom in a little bit. It's fairly high resolution. You can see, hey, Cleveland needs water, and there's some work going on. But these dots at the top here, so you can go right back. The first thing you can go back with this is 22nd of December 2007. You can see that we have a boarding college, boarding house, some sales up here, some roof work going on. So we can go through time. So. February, May, now the boarding house is gone, it's January, summer again, and we can click through all the dots, it's a different time, see how lovely lush the college oval is during the winter, zoom in a bit, and which happened to be on Athletics Day. You can see all the kids on the oval. It's fairly high resolution. So we've got some, yeah it's just luck that it was um, Athletics Day. You can see we can go through the different times. work going on. So if you're doing an excursion to a certain place within Perth and the surrounds, you'll have the opportunity to look at a place over time. Perhaps if you're going to Lake Herdsman, you'd have a look at it in different times and see what effect the weather has. So we're here with the lake, let's clear that off again. Got a variety of things on the top here. We can zoom into a particular place if we want or look at the whole lake as a whole. And I can go back through time. So during May, there's be more water around. It's only as April. Okay, during February you can see it's much drier. Much more land growing. May again, 2008. December, again more land showing. November, there's more water there for some reason. So not a bad little use of mapping.